there are three things you can do with your stance to help you hit it farther. It's not only these three things, but these things help in enormously. Now, look, uh, we know science tells us for certain that we need to be hitting up at the ball to maximize the distance we can hit the golf ball. There's more to it than that. You've got to hit on the right spot on the face, but you've got to be hitting up. Now, when you're hitting up at the golf ball, uh, it's very easy to actually be swinging to the left at the moment you're hitting up the arc the club swings on. And so, one of the things that we now know for sure, they knew it a long time ago, but we now know for sure is, number one, with your stance, if you're going to try and hit it a long way and hit up, number one, pull your trail foot back from the line. I've got an alignment stick on the ground here, but watch this. Pull your trail foot back from the line some amount. I don't want you to go berserk. I'm not saying you can take it all the way down here to Main Street, but just pull your trail foot back from the line. Now, that does help you angle the swing a little bit to the right, which is great if you're hitting up, to the, uh, hitting up at the ball. The swing direction is a bit to the right. So I'm going to try and lay a bit of club head on one here with the trail foot pulled back from the line a little bit. Here we go. Trail foot's pulled back from the line. Now that ball did not go to the right because the trail foot was pulled back. I left the face open a little bit, trying to hit it hard. But number one, you would pull the trail foot back a little bit. Now number two, with regard to doing something with your stance, the stance being the very foundation of the swing. You know those things in Egypt, the pyramids? Did you ever notice they are much wider at the bottom than they are at the top. Why? For stability. Think what they'd be like if you built them upside down. And yet people try and drive the ball, what I would call as upside down pyramids. Don't do that. Get the stance fairly wide. We're referencing Tiger Woods a lot in this show. And you think back to a young tiger and golly, when he was working with Butch, he would get a pretty wide stance and with good reason. So now I've got the trail foot back a little bit. I've got the stance widened now, wider than my shoulders by a good amount, you can see that, and that's going to help me turn a bit more. So that would be two of the three things I'm going to ask you to do. Let me see if I can put a bit of club head on this one. Uh, definitely wider stance, trail foot pull back. I uh, didn't get that one too well, but not to worry, I've got another one to go. Now, the last thing I would want you to do is probably what will fix me there is to get my lead foot turned out a little bit. And this would be sort of the trifecta. Trail foot's back. Stance is wider. Lead foot's turned out a little bit. Now, there's a couple of things there. When the lead foot is turned out a bit, one, it will somewhat restrict your hip turn going back, so you've got a bigger wind-up. Two, it allows your hips to open up a little bit quicker coming down, so you might get a bit of clubhead speed extra from there. So those are the three. Trail foot back. Stance is wider. Lead foot flared out a little bit. Let's see what I've got now. Let's concentrate here, Martin, and see if I can really put a bit of club head on this one. And that one I certainly hit pretty hard.